And I'm back. Well, a few targets. Go for it. You won't hit me, Biatch. Take, Ray, take a beating from the tall yeast tree. This is weird. I'm not trying to attack the tall yeast tree. <laughs> You have a lot of merit, Fertnoid! <laughs> what use is resistance? <laughs> Too easy! <laughs> EXP hard! Level up! Oh, I'm not male. What level up? Yeah, they have a bit of experience. You can touch it. Why can't you... Get that guy right there, the IF bunker. Like that. This what? Are you ready for a wire guided beam cannon? <laughs> oh, you want to fight me one on one? I'll spoil the rest one! <laughs> Ooh, so close! I saw that cat come from 78 miles away! What the? Oh yeah, you're a four! God damn you, range! Level Now you'd stay there, dude. Well, don't go over there and use me golden hammer. These bloody blobs.
I feel that way. A lot of law. Set. Find the enemy. I have to fight them evenly with this. Die, savages! A left incoming. Level up. The flex level one is now level two, eh? I wish more people had sports instead. <laughs> a sport, guns and hammer, valors would be a great help. Who? Oh yeah, the iron gear. Is it time? It's all the way over there. Thanks to the frost, but us have secured the machine. Now to escape. Hey, that mobile suit is the GPO2. D don't tell me that you got. I thought you got spotted, Kanishi. Yes, Tiger and I brought that gun out from inside the cave. Whoa, now you're taking up stuff like that. Who's piloting that Gundam? In case you've got word that the GPO2 was stolen from the scene. What did you say? What do you mean, stolen? So don't tell me the moon is sick in the GPO2. Was the GPO2 armed with a nuclear warhead? Yes. Nuclear warhead. What was that, that mobile suit has a nuclear warhead? That's right. What's this nuclear thing you're talking about? They obliterate entire areas in an instant and render them uninhabitable. <gasps> That's no joking matter. For a sub GPO2, don't blow up to save its movement. Roger. Save its movement? How do we do that? Take it away that won't make it explode. God damn it, how can we steal that thing in this time too? Unless we don't want a nuclear explosion, be careful not to blow it up. Ow, I guess. Shook it. Oh, I shouldn't skip that thunder break. Thunder break! I do know. I missed with an 85, that kind of sucked. Wait a sec, it's moving very slowly. Like, possibly... No, it's so far away, I just can catch up with it at this point. Oh, Down the bottom corner of the map. I think I'm taking three more turns to escape. Global bullshitification. Ha! 
have to stop it. Everyone, go back over. Oh yeah, Henry, uh, smash that. Good boy. Actually, even with the 8 little open tier, wouldn't be too much help. Or would you? No, probably not. Still, I'll move you anyway. Ahem. That'd be rather useless. That guy. And he can just run away, eh? 9000 HP. Okay, a Valor and Mercy hit after a beat him up a bit should be an okay strategy. <laughs> God, they're moving after us, eh? Try to manage. Goodbye. Just. Those other guys, I've got to do is keep the GPO2 from getting away. So, GPO2, how's it going? Here he comes. Damn. I have to cut the recording for now. Bye. And we're back. So we've got to stop this guy. Hmm. Still, what Valor hit wouldn't kill him? That's the question. Okay, how many of you have mercy? Ooh, I like that package. And wasted colours Valor, but oh well. Suck it, bitch. And don't worry, you won't die. My ability makes the nonsense of your survival. Or something. I feel input. This should be able to handle it. Just 
an unforeseen amounts of power. Yeah, I'll stay up here. Good my match attachment time. Sneaky rascal. If you don't set that Valor shot, it'll come in handy. <laughs> the GPO one attacking the GPO two. Take this! Not good, this keeps up on shot down. Level up. Okay, Amaro. Oh, shizzle. Doesn't have the combination. You're too far away. Zex. Good boy, Zex. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, you're too far away as well. Um, okay, no one in range. Elsa's mercy. Uh, um, oh, my guy in the way, he can't, definitely can't escape here. Yeah. Probably a non valor thin funnel. <laughs> mercy to help. Yeah, if you're on to send my bits to me, I'll give it mercy to The new Gundam, I can do this! Is that critical? What, what is this firepower? Is that good enough? Nope. Oh, well, so be it. Okay, guys, that's enough of that. Everyone else, go back and fight the boss. Everything into this shop, but burning. That's everything you got left. Point blank. Uber shop. Ne 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 ne. Take this! You, you, you damned whippersnappers! Burning in the house! You all truly are unneeded. The shot will send you straight to hell! Grown too old for this. Whoa! You almost sent me to hell with that shot, man. Careful. Well, the initial mission's been achieved. Maybe I can handle this. Let's go, Alba. That's understood, buddy. That was a lot of experience for hitting him, and he really gave me some pain in return. Ah, he'll be fine. Ah, uh, why not a mission on? Oh, you 
want to fight me one on one? Bitch, please. We're drawn for the front. <laughs> Look at those two guys, those four guys, and him. And he can't get away as he is. So I'm feeling pretty confident. Confident. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. You can die now. Won't be sure it was similar damage. Level up. They're both heavily damaged, but uh the fans. Look at that cute, he's trying to escape. Ah. Is he the cutest free win? Trying to run away. Don't you make such a nice little rascal trying to fight Laura and utterly failing? He has a nice little beam rifle. Sorry, you happen to die. Here's some pain. Go on and got a pretty nice set on that gun then. Okay. Mercy. Gun the hammer. Shock it. Biatch. Uh, I field input. This should be able to handle it. Ten HP. A critical. Have I been underestimating their power? You only survived because of mercy, man. Skill point gained! Not good, the damage to the reactor is too much! Don't escape! There should be no sorry. Four guys. So my managed to keep the GP at 0-2 out of enemy hands. We're safe. Who knows what would happen if they got a hold of it? That must that mustache the MS resembles the white MS the tormented ancient space noise. Are you see what I don't That's some sort that sort of thought. The Gundam of old. Goldie ran off, should we go after him? No need for that, the enemy side already knows about this place. Harvey, please take good care of Miss Keyhill. What's that battleship? That's the Freedom, Camille and Hyoma and the others are on it. But Hyoma was on that, but he had support. <laughs> Why couldn't she have come with me? Let's well, come back safely from Fort Tavera. 18. Out 20. Good work, Unsign Yoraki. What are we going to do with the GPO2, sir? After dismantling it, we'll keep it securely sealed away under our gamma, of course. Oh, I see. <laughs> Come here, how's the feed and removal work coming along? Do all Garrett and others are working on it as we speak. I hear Misaki, me and the blue balls have joined up with the fleet. Yes, sir. So I wasn't expecting for us to execute the GPO2, much less have the moon race come after us for it. A gun that went nuclear war. I never would have imagined. Sir Gwen, is that mechanical doll really that dangerous? What's well, dangerous is the bomb it's armed with. According to Laura, it apparently sears the land and generates a powerful poison which contaminates the land for centuries. <coughs> My, how dreadful. 
is that a new weapon developed by the Essence? No, I think of it as a cursed relic of the Black History. Judging from the battle situation, the moon race and military seems to be split into two major factions. Diana Cameron, the Diana Souls, direct command, and the unaffiliated group, right? They must have... No. They must have been the ones who attacked us before. I hear you know a lot about the moon race, right? You know about that? It is true that the moon race armies are split into two major factions. One is the Anna Counter, which you're familiar with. The other is the Ginkham fleet. Ginkham? Ginkham is the name of the family which historically he heads the moon race military. They have a private fleet in lunar orbit. They've, they've trained continuously over thousands of years to deal with external threats. <coughs> trained over thousands of years? And what external threats? He said that the Gingham fleet was originally formed in order to deal with extraterrestrial invaders. Of course, now they take the instant to be that external threat. So Diana counters an army reporting directly to Queen Diana, and the Gingham fleet is the moon's regular army? Most likely, yes. Two militaries under one um umbrella organization. That sounds an awful lot like how things were with the Ed Air Federation and the Titans. By the way, Sir Jamil, all the situation of the Eastern base in Fort Tavern. <laughs> as we were informed, they were gathering breakers as anti moon race forces. <coughs> Did I take it negotiations with them went smoothly? <gasps> we came under attack from the Eastern and breakers stationed there. <coughs> what did you say? He hasn't attacked you? They also sent out an artificial new type, an exclusive machine for him. An artificial new type? Something similar to a cyber new type? Seems he hasn't at Fort Tavern. I've been conducting new type research for some time. And he tried to capture Tifa. He was supposed to have said this. <coughs> and apparently Rosami was also at their new type research facility. Rosami? That woman claimed to be her younger sister, Camille? But, but, our firepower should have been valuable to the Essence. The Essence probably feels dangerous once it's dead along with the moon race. But, but that's... But I don't understand the reasoning here. Why would we be, us be tar Why would we be targeted by the moon, by Essence when we're also fighting the moon race? Yes, she's right. Sir Biel even gave us a special dispatch. Besides, the Galia and Essence are cultured people who hate fight. How do they start fighting themselves? It's most likely because we possess the GX and the Turn A, along with many other mobile weapons of the black history. We may very well be seen as more of a threat to the East than the moon race themselves. That only counts for uh that'll be access. So that only counts for the East to North America, right? The guy in this and Sir Biel would never launch any attacks on us. That no, no. <coughs> my, my goodness! I've definitely felt like something was out of place this whole time. But why would you be in a place like this, Lady Diana? So this is the Queen of the Moon, Diana Sorrel. But she doesn't look all that much older than me or Laurent. <coughs> oh, Lady Diana, whom I respect and admire so much, Lady Kehill. How, how could I have not been able to tell the two of you apart, Laurent? Lauren Seha, your dear Kihal Haim is in a very stressful situation right now. Life may be in danger, all because we did such a foolish thing. So Mr. Kihal really is on the Soleil? That's correct, he's been forced to act in my stead. Given the rapid deterioration of the situation over the past several days, I cannot afford to continue like this any longer. Yes, we cannot keep this up. The fighting continues will only bring misfortune to both the earth and the moon. For the sake of our people, split apart. And for the sake of this beautiful and shining moon, Lawrence, <laughs> please lend me your strength. Do, do I even have strength? As I am right now, you're the only upon who I, whom I can rely. Because you're the only guy I can rely, rely on in our anime. Sorry, Ryoma, get a robot can't help me. Only turn it. Ryoma apparently makes his self request of it. I understand, keep quiet about this. So you choose to reveal the truth about yourself. With my deepest gratitude for your consideration. <coughs> hey Rio, where have you been up until now? Nowhere in particular? Liar, you're hiding something, aren't you? 
What makes you say that? Because <laughs> I've been around you for a long time. You know, I heard that Kia like, looks an awful lot like the Queen of the Moon, Dan. Top that hair key, I'll spend some time Diana can't respect you. What are you getting at? <laughs> I think that the Diana Carroll could have set Key Hell up as a spy. And if you're wrong about that, don't discuss it with anyone else. Alright, fine, Rio. I can't just debate a leader, I guess. That confirms that there's something up with Key Hell. Rio, hi, Tom. What's wrong, Shizuru? Shizuru and Kanichi have gotten in the fight into a fight. Great Obusta! Deadly Fing Slashing! What did you say? Please stop them! Why did destroy everything? No, it's your area specialty. I'll set this one out. I'm not going for breaking stuff up. I'm meant to be moody. And cool. Hayato. Ryo, come quick! Alright, guy. <coughs> Cut out, both of you! What do you mean, Tetsuya? If you don't get it, I'll repeat as many times it takes to sink. <laughs> Why did you remove the nuclear bazooka the moment you found it? Because the investigation should come first. It's not true, it's just time to burn the system to. So naive. What are you planning on doing if you're hit by the GPO2's nukes? Cut out, Tetsuya, it's not Kanishi's fault. Told you, we are lucky this time. That's all. GPO2 has gotten stolen, could have been a nightmare. What are you doing? Oh no, the dialogue was changed by the leg of stone. Listen, I'm warning you. Keep doing Tim's such a soft acting. You're going to do even more damage than you would have otherwise. You should all think that over. <laughs> Tetsuya. What was his problem? Tetsuya, don't worry about what he said. No, what Tetsuya said wasn't wrong. Nor was Tim burning his judgment. <laughs> Tetsuya. We know all too well how first in that gun to it. I should have done something since I was the one who discovered it. But you don't have to be so harsh about it. <laughs> Told you, something happened to Tetsuya. I'd like to know that myself. Look at your pants! Yeah, I got a bit of money! Yay! I don't need anything of now. The Chromius, I guess, but I don't really want any of that. That's that, guys. Bye!